Hello once again folks, welcome along to another video, top 5 to arrive. I recently posted some uh, photographs of uh, seas for nymphs, which I've been using for many many years quite successfully on uh, Instagram and a couple of other platforms and um, a lot of people have been asking questions about them, about the tying of them and in particular how I got the particular colours I use, did I buy those particular colours? No, I actually um, make up a mixture and this is how it's done. Now, to make up um, the dubbing mixture for the seals fur nymphs, all of this is seals fur. I have yellow, orange, sort of Highlander green, I think that's called. A little bit of what I call a, a, I don't know what you'd call a sort of a dark burgundy sort of colour. And then I have a little bit of the hair's mask, just a little bit of the under fur, which acts as a sort of a binding agent and sort of makes it all stick together. So my idea is to make up two different colours from these. I want a sort of a light colour and a darker colour. So this is where the coffee grinder comes in. So I'm going to put in, say, half the half the Highlander green, a little bit of the orange, a little bit of the yellow, a small bit of that burgundy colour, sort of wind up burgundy colour, and then a little bit of the hair's mask on the fur, and just mix them all together. You don't want to do it too much, just a couple of turns, check it, see what it looks like. Yeah, looking good so far. So I'm just going to separate out that little bit of green there again and just give it another twist. Like I say, be careful not to do too much or you'll chop it up too fine and it won't dub very easily then. Now that's a, that's a nice sort of olive, greeny olive colour which is sort of consistent with the majority of the insects. If you turn over the stones in your local river, have a look at the insects and see what's the predominant colour and you, most likely it'll be a dark olive or a light or the insects will be light olive and dark olive. That's the way it is on the majority of rivers. That's the sort of the best camouflage that the insects use. So that's the colour I've come up with. For a mixture of all these. Now what you can do is I'm going to sort of lighten that a little by adding just a little bit more of the yellow. So I'm just going to spread that around on the coffee grinder. Another little bit of the hair's mask as I say to ask us to serve as a binding agent. And give it another turn. There we go. Lovely seals for a mixture. And the addition of the little bit of hair's mask makes it easier to dub. Be. And then um, you can change the mixture around. You can add more or subtract. Subtract a little bit of this, say. Eh? We'll save that. That looks a nice colour. I like it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit more of the burgundy in and sort of dark, make that a little darker. <laughs> Just a little more of that now. I'm going to find a bit here. There we are. I'm going to add in that bit of burger and give it a twist. And now we have a really nice dark olive. So there you go, that's the two mixtures. I've got a nice dark olive and a nice light olive just by mixing them up and uh, as I say seals fur is a sort of a magic ingredient works very well for all kinds of flies but nymphs in particular so get yourself a coffee grinder they don't cost a lot get your seals fur and get mixing okay so now you'll probably be glad to hear that um, the tying of the seas for nymphs is very simple. 
The hook I'm going to use are these. These are actually dry fly hooks and um, they're clink hammer hooks in a size 18 but as you probably see um, they're more akin to a size um, 14 or a 12 if you like in a conventional hook. They're a long shank curved hook and I'm going to put on here a 3mm black bead. Bead is made from tungsten. Right. Here we are. Um, Seals 4 has a very long history of uh, being used in fly tying. Here in Ireland, mainly used for um, the tying of wet flies for lake fishing on the big lakes such as Loch Corrib and Loch Mask etc. But I've been using seals for for at least 25 years for tying nymphs and uh, it's got a sort of it's a sort of a magical um, material. Works when other artificial materials won't. So anyway here we go. Um, start off just behind the bead. And my thread is slipping. By the way, the thread I'm using is called Nano Silk, and uh, this is in 12 oh I think. So it's a very fine thread, but it is slippery. And I've just cut it. I hit the hook with it. So we'll have to start again. Okay, these things happen. So down around the end of the hook. Get my scissors. I'm actually tying from on a different table today, so it's a little bit wobbly. So you have to bear with it. Now, the tail. You don't necessarily have to put on a tail, but I like to put on a tail. And I'm using just hackle fibers. So I'm just going to pluck out a little bunch of hackle fibers here. And the tail is sort of around half the length of the overall body length. So tie that in just there. Trim off the waist. And the next material is this wire, it's chartreuse. It's a sort of a very bright olive wire. So medium gauge I'd call it. Now I'm just going to poke that into the back of the bead here and tie it down. That's secure. Now I'm anti-clockwise. Three touching turns. Now, I'm going to use the seeds for that I made, that I mixed earlier on. This is the lighter olive and the darker olive. And I'm going to do the, the back two thirds of the fly in the lighter olive and then the front third nearest to the bead with the darker olive, or the darker olive, yes. Now, dubbing um, seeds for is a little more difficult than most materials. It doesn't adhere to the thread as easily. So, um, the more modern materials that are um, specifically designed for fly tying obviously are much easier to dub on, but a little bit of practice and you'll get there. Now, yeah, two thirds of the way along. Now, the front third, 
is the darker silver. And there we go, dub that on. Now, next turn is obviously anti-clockwise anti as well, open turns. There's five or six turns on the way up through the fly. And finishing off just here behind the bead. finish a second with finish and just for if you want to make it ultra durable just a little dab of varnish or head cement onto the thread and another with finish that will make it ultra secure. And that there is your seals for nymphs. Very simple tie, tied up in a couple of minutes, and a super effective fly. So, thanks for tuning in and watching. And um, if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. I do videos like this all the time. And um, good evening, Kia Dorella. Slaan gefoel, agus biggie eggie is krukt.